Because lead is the primary metal in ammunition, the Idaho Environmental Health Program would like to raise awareness about the risks of lead poisoning as it relates to hunting and provide steps you can take to prevent it. But before we discuss how lead can harm hunters specifically, let's talk about lead and how dangerous it is for everyone. Lead is a naturally occurring element that can be found in air, soil, water, and even inside our homes. Human exposure comes from the use of fossil fuels, past use of leaded gasoline, some industrial facilities, and past use of lead-based paint. While lead poisoning is serious for everyone, it affects children more than adults. Additionally, Children and babies are more likely to be affected because they put objects that may have been exposed to lead into their mouths. Adults, specifically pregnant women, and their developing babies are also vulnerable to the effects of lead poisoning. While most adults are exposed to lead in the workplace, there are some hobbies where lead exposure is a risk, such as ceramics, stained glass making, target shooting, and certain folk remedies. Symptoms to look out for if you believe you've been exposed to lead include tiredness, weakness, irritability, trouble sleeping, headache, loss of appetite, nausea, and difficulty concentrating. If left untreated, lead poisoning can have serious effects on both children and adults. Because many of the symptoms of lead poisoning can be misdiagnosed or missed altogether, it's imperative to lower your chances of exposure. There are simple things you can do to lower your chance of exposure. Inspect and maintain painted surfaces to prevent paint deterioration. Address water damage quickly and completely. Clean around painted areas where friction can generate dust, such as doors, windows, and drawers. Flush water outlets used for drinking or food preparation. And clean faucet aerators on a regular basis. Even eating well-balanced meals can help your body absorb less lead. Additionally, if you're doing any home renovations, ensure your contractor is Lead Safe Certified and that they follow lead-safe work practices. It's important to note that a blood lead test is the only way to find out if an individual has lead poisoning. Children's levels should be tested by their healthcare provider. Remember, there is no safe lead level in your body. Now that you have a basic understanding about lead and its harmful effects, we can dive into lead as it pertains to hunting, bullet reloading, melting, casting, and eating lead-contaminated meat. While alternate metals can be used for ammunition, lead is still the most common. Hunters should also explore other safer ammunition options. Always wear a NIOSH-certified respirator that is equipped with a P100 filter or HEPA filter when melting, casting, tumbling, or reloading bullets. Lead fumes and dust have no odor, so you may not even know that you're being accidentally exposed. Again, there is no safe blood lead level. But there are several other ways you can minimize your exposure, including wearing coveralls and washing your hands each time you are reloading or working with ammunition. Make sure that you are never eating or drinking while reloading or casting. If you melt lead to cast bullets, lead fumes are produced and can stay in the air for up to 10 hours. Dry tumbling cases also creates harmful lead dust. Using a wet tumbler and changing the media often will also help minimize lead dust. To protect your family from lead fumes and dust, always use an exhaust fan and keep your work area clean and well ventilated. Mop hard surface floors often. Use a spray bottle to mist walls, ceilings, windowsills, door jams, tables, chairs, and equipment with water and wipe with a clean damp cloth. Never dry sweep your work area and only use a vacuum if it has a high-efficiency particulate air or HEPA filter. If possible, use a shop area or garage that's separate from your home. If your work area is connected to your home, separate it with plastic sheeting. If you have any spare lead for bullet casting, store it in a container with a tight-fitting lid. Following all of these instructions will help prevent lead exposure at your workstation and in your home. The final lead-related issue for hunters to watch out for is wild game contamination. Most lead particles in wild game meat will be too small to see, feel, or sense when chewing. The first step you can take is to use safer ammunition. For rifle hunting, explore other non-lead bullet options. Also, consider short-range hunting options. A shotgun slug or muzzle loader bullet will leave less lead fragments. Take the time to make a clean shot. Hitting wild game in large bones will result in more bullet fragmenting and therefore more lead fragments. Lastly, 
Process your wild game meat safely. Trim the meat liberally around bullet or slug paths to minimize lead exposure. Due to bullet fragmentation, avoid cuts of meat from areas where heavy bone impacts occurred. Always examine the carcass for previous wounds that may contain lead. And avoid washing the carcass, as it may spread lead fragments. Throw away any trimmed or bruised meat, or meat that contains hair, dirt, bone fragments, or grass. If using a commercial processor to butcher your meat, make sure that your meat will not be mixed with meat from another unknown source. Remember, there is no safe lead level in your body. Take all the necessary precautions to ensure your safety while enjoying your hobby. For additional resources about lead poisoning with respect to hunting and other recreational activities, please click the link in the comments below.